up everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I'm a first time mum here in the UK to a little boy called Braylon who next week is turning six month old. Someone needs to explain to me how that happened because not two minutes ago was I in hospital bed welcoming Graylin into the world. Yeah, I think I say it in every video but time it really needs to slow down. Anyway, over on this channel I like to do motherhood videos, videos about raising Graylin as first time parents as well as home organisation and speed cleaning videos. So if that's something you enjoy watching, it would mean the world to me if you went ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell for future videos and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. As per usual, you will hear Graylin in the background of the video. He's just having fun so please just ignore him. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you Grayland's bedside nursery nook. So this has been one of my like most anticipated videos for me to film. I really wanted to do a room tour of some sort, but just never getting around to it. You've seen loads of like clips of different rooms in speed cleaning videos, but I've never actually sat down and done a full room tour. Quite excited for this video. It's gonna be the first like room tour on the channel and it's gonna be Grayland's little nursery nook. So that is his little corner of the master bedroom just solely dedicated to Graylin. It's all of his stuff, it's all of his clothes, it's everything that we will be moving into the nursery when we finally get a nursery sorted. But until then, he has got his own little space in our master bedroom. And normally babies stay with the parents up until about six months anyway, before they move into their own nursery. But like I said, Graylin hasn't got a nursery at the moment, so he will be staying in our room until we have a, a nursery sorted out for him. But yeah, I'm just excited to show you this little space. Yeah, so it's all done now. There's nothing I need to do to it. I'm happy with the flow of the room. I'm happy with where everything's positioned in the room. Yeah, so without further ado, let's head into the baby's bedside nursery tour. So this is the master bedroom. Obviously, I've said in countless videos before, I would do a bedroom tour once it was finished. Obviously, that hasn't materialised. So I'll just give you a little sneak peek of the room right now. Obviously, this isn't a master bedroom tour. It is a baby's bedside nursery nook tour. And this is what I'm gonna be showing you today. So for anyone that's new here, firstly, hi, welcome. Secondly, Graylin doesn't have a nursery at the moment, hence why most of his stuff is in the master bedroom. His nursery is full of exotic dart frogs. Darren, my partner, he collects dart frogs. So until they are moved into the outhouse outside, we don't have a nursery for Graylin just yet. So he is in this room indefinitely. I couldn't tell you when we'll be getting him into his own nursery, but yeah. I'm quite happy with how it's all laid out. The floor feels much better in this room now with all of his bits in one area. Prior to the setup now, all of his things were kind of around the room and it didn't really feel like a master bedroom. It kind of felt like it was just a mix of both the master bedroom and Graylin's bits and bobs. Really wanted to define the bedroom into like a master bedroom, a relaxing place for me and Darren to come sleep at the end of the night and Graylin's own area. I really didn't want them mixing together so I'm quite happy with how it is all set up and yeah I will go through everything that we have and I hope you enjoy. Also I'm sure you'll hear Graylin in the background. Hi baby boy. Hello. Yeah he's just enjoying himself. You'll very more than likely hear him in the background. Okay, so we'll start off with the crib. This crib here is a Baby Elegance Night Night crib. I absolutely love this crib. Obviously, the aesthetic is very on par with the rest of the room. We've got the wood of the crib, which matches more of the neutral tones in the bedroom. And the grey of the crib obviously matches, or is quite similar to the grey of the bed. So that was the first thing when I was looking for a crib is I wanted something that kind of matched with the bedroom so it didn't look too out of place. And I feel like this one obviously hit the mark. I personally am not the biggest fan of stars and moons, which sounds very contradictory considering I've got a few stars and moons for his nursery when we get that done. But I just don't really buzz off the star theme. But this was the only theme they had for the baby elegance night night crib so i just made do with it it comes with this star mattress cover as well it doesn't bother me so much in this uh, room i probably try not to take it too much into the nursery when we get that done i bought this crib from 
Smith's The Toy Store for about £90. It was either £80 or £90. Absolute bargain in my opinion. And yeah, it's I'm, I'm going to be so sad when we can't take this crib with us into the nursery. I am going to put a proper cot into the nursery. But yeah, really pleased with this. I'm sure they still have it on the Smith's website. As you can see, the crib comes down a bit so you can have easy access from the bed. Obviously, our bed's quite high in comparison to the crib, but it still works well. I'm still able to pick Grey out of the cot if I need to. It's quite a nice little feature to have that. And yeah, we've got it down currently. His <laughs> Graylin. His mattress uh, is kind of puffed up a bit with some blankets. I have no particular reason why I put those blankets in. It was just at the time he had a bit of a cold, so he was getting quite congested and it's better for them to kind of sleep on an incline. So that's the reason why it looks a bit like it's on an incline. It's because it is on an incline. And these toys here, this one is from Ikea. It's a cute little dinosaur, obviously. It's just sweet. I love that. Look at its little eyes. And then for anyone who is confused by my dark frog comment, this is what a dark frog looks like. Obviously on a much smaller scale, <laughs> but we will be having a few of these kind of teddies around the house uh, in due course. But they just sit in the corner of his crib for now. Obviously, he does not sleep with these in the crib. They just get put to the side. I'll pop them on the floor there. But just for the meantime, just whilst the room is tidy, I tend to put these two teddies in his crib just to get them out of the way. At this end of the crib, I just have this nightlight white noise machine. You've seen this in a couple of other videos. I rated this quite highly until I realised you couldn't put the light on without putting the sound on. And... There were some instances where we needed the light without the sound and well you can do it vice versa but definitely the light without the sound was something i really needed and you can't do that with this unfortunately or at least i can't figure it out it's great for an inexpensive nightlight slash white noise machine if i can find it i will link it below but that's the only gripe about this machine is that you can't put the light on without <laughs> grayling without putting the, the white noise machine on as well that just hangs on the outside of the bed. I don't often have it inside when Graylin's in, just for safety reasons. So it just just hang on the outside when I'm trying to get him to sleep. I've just added a bit of lighting down here because it was quite dark. But these three baskets are from B and M. They sit underneath the night night crib. It's just a bit of extra storage. We keep the vests in this one, his sleep suits and rumpers in this one, and then his neck size up in this basket here. I'll quickly show you through them. But these were from B&M. I can't quite remember the price of them, but I will link them below because I'm pretty sure they do still have them in B&M. Hopefully I can link them for you. They're a great additional storage. This just would have been an empty space otherwise. So in this first basket, he has his current vests that he wears. They're the three to six month old vests. Hopefully he won't be too long before going into his six to nine month. He is turning six month old next week, which is, I can't believe how quick it's going. It doesn't look like he's got many vests in here. He actually hasn't. I think there's just a couple more in the wash, but yeah, these are all of his vests at the moment. He tends to go through a couple of days, so I really should have gotten some more, but because he's going to be going up a size, very soon, I don't think it's really appropriate to get any more right now. <laughs> in this basket, like I said, we have his sleep suits and his rompers. A lot of the rompers are kind of summer, seasonal inspired. We've got a couple of autumnal rompers down there, like the long sleeved ones, long legged ones. But these short sleeved and short legged rompers, I can probably get rid of, but they do still fit him at the moment. So whilst he does still fit them, I'm reluctant to get rid of them because they are an additional item of clothing, which really goes through a lot of clothing at the moment whilst having reflux. So yeah, we keep his rompers on this side and then his sleep suits on this side. He hasn't got many sleep suits either, but again, I'm reluctant to buy any more because hopefully he will be going up a size very soon. And then finally in this one is his six to nine month. I think there might be nine to 12 month in there as well, but it's kind of just his rompers and vests that I will be transitioning into these two baskets when the time comes. So the crib obviously sits next to our bed. This is my side of the bed here. This is really the only amount of space I can get out of bed. It was 
actually about here but obviously I couldn't get out in that little space had to crawl over and get out there Grayling is now on the bed having his milk um yeah I did have to get out through the bed this way which didn't really work very well so I've moved the crib along further to the bottom of the bed which means I can get out nicely here I can open up my bedside drawers works much better this way so moving on from the crib, we have my nightstand. So these are just floating nightstands from Ikea. My personal belongings are in there. There's nothing of Grayland's in there. Grayland's items are on top, as you can see. We have the Tommy Tippy prep machine, the humidifier, and we have his camera up there as well, because we have introduced a nighttime routine. And obviously it gives us peace of mind when we can see him in the camera. So yeah, I will show you. The items in more detail so this camera here is a motorola camera the monitor is downstairs in the living room that's where we tend to spend our evenings i can't remember the model if i can find it i will link it but this was a hand-me-down from darren's sister it was one of the first things we got when we were pregnant it was kind of one of the first items uh, it does a great job but no gripes of it it's not connected to wi-fi or anything like that so i'm quite happy with it you can see baby very clearly on the screen, especially at night time. It's got the night vision as well. And yeah, I've got no problems with that. So if I can find the model, I will link it down below for you. Over here, we have the Tommy Tippy prep machine. So Graylin doesn't really wake up in the middle of the night now. Touch wood. He kind of sleeps throughout the night from 9pm till about 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, by which point it's uh, time for his feed anyway. We do have this up here for when we wake up and feed him in the morning, but just in case he does need feeding in the middle of the night, obviously a Tommy Tippy prep machine is perfect, <laughs> as the name suggests. Uh, I do love this machine. He is going to be weaning soon, uh, as of next week actually, so... His feeds are going to go down anyway. Like I said, he doesn't really feed in the middle of the night at the moment. So we could probably do away with this. I could do his morning feeds downstairs. But whilst we're still in that kind of limbo stage, this will be staying here on my nightstand until we're certain that he doesn't need any more night feeds. Down here, we have a humidifier. So this little thing is so handy. I love it. It's quite cute. Um, going back to the stars and moon theme, <laughs> it's not really my bag, but uh, it's really cute. If I can turn it on, it lights up and it changes colour. It's very pretty in the evenings and at night time. And it's a humidifier, so I don't think there's any water in it at the moment. So there's nothing coming out. But yeah, it's great for... When baby is unwell, like I said, Grillin has suffered a cold recently and this was very helpful in the aiding with his congestion. I do put a little bit of Albus oil into there as well, just as an essential oil and it does help clear up his nose. It helped clear up my nose because I was suffering with a cold as well. This was from Argos. I think it was about £20. If I can find it, I will link it below for you. From the nightstand, we have Grillin's cupboard. So... You may remember from a previous vlog, it was the nesting vlog, I did start to put this little cupboard together. It's tiny, there's no way we could put our clothes in there, hence why we have our own little clothes rail so we can put our bits and pieces on there. But yeah, I will show you in here. We haven't got a door handle on there just yet, so I am going to have to try and prise it open. That is one of the only things left to do in this room is put the door handle on there and then Grayland's nook is completely finished so um, let's head in. So welcome to Grayland's little wardrobe which I'm dead proud of because for the lack of space we had I think I've managed to organise this very well. There's some areas I could have improved on but for the fact that he's not in here permanently I think this is a very nice solution to keeping all of his clothes and bits all together. So up here we have these baskets which were from B&M Similar to the ones underneath the crib, I think they were similar in price as well. I bought three of them. Actually, I've got four of them, but one of them has a plant in it. <laughs> so these three sit up on top of the clothes reel. So in this basket, we have swaddles and mattress covers. These swaddles are three to six months. I've never used them. 
We use the Nauta Fremont swaddles regularly with Graylin. He seemed to settle with them loads. And I was planning on using them from three to six months. But he's just always been a small baby due to his reflux. So he didn't actually grow into these. And uh, he started rolling now. So it's not really safe for him to be in swaddles whilst he's rolling about. So yeah i'm gonna have to get rid of those and this basket will probably be used for something else but for the time being it's got his swaddles and some mattress covers in and this one if i can take it out without pulling the rest down we have all of graylin's well not all of graylin's towels but a majority of graylin's towels mostly the hooded towels we have his beach towel which we took on holiday with us so this one just has all of his towels in there. And then finally in this basket, we have all of Graylin's knits. So knits that his family have knitted them or friends have knitted them. Ones that he doesn't actually fit in just yet, but we've got them there ready for him because we're obviously coming into winter now. And he'll probably get plenty of use out of his knitwear. So we have all of his knitwear in this basket. Moving down, we have his hanging clothes. So these clothes are hung up on just a tension rod. It actually did tension up here, <laughs> but the amount of clothes that I put on it initially, it kind of fell down and it just kind of happened to rest on there. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. It means I've got a bit of extra space to put storage up there as well. But these are usually his jackets and two piece sets. So it usually has a t-shirt which has matching bottoms which I hang up with them. And that's the case for pretty much all of the clothes in here. Some of the clothes are larger, like this is, I think it's about a nine to 12 month. I cannot wait to put them in that. We love Marvel. You'll know that if you followed our vlogs before. Yeah, some of these are clothes which he doesn't fit into just yet, but a majority of them are like two pieces. He has his little Liverpool shirt, which I bought when well, actually, before I found out I was pregnant because I wanted to show Darren with the shirt that we were expecting. It has Sims 2 on the back. It's so cute. Um, And yeah, he's got matching shorts for that. Yeah, just kind of all of his two pieces. A lot of his two pieces are in the wash. He gets plenty of wear out of them. These ones are obviously more summer vibes. So these will probably go in storage very soon. But like I say... Because he still fits in them, I'm reluctant to put them away just yet because at least it is an extra pair of clothing for him. So, yeah, they're his hanging bits. Underneath the two pieces, I have two boxes of swaddles. Now, these are on all of his swaddles. He has hundreds of them. You cannot go wrong with having loads of swaddles. But if I have any overflow, I'll just put them under this bit here. If I can try and fit them or a majority of them into these boxes, I will do so. So a majority of his swaddles are in there. These boxes, which you'll see throughout his cupboard, are from B&M. They come in a range of sizes. They come in packs of two. And yeah, they are so handy for storing different things in. I will show you as we go down. Next, we have this gorgeous basket. This was from Home Base. I think it was about £18. Quite expensive, in my opinion, for a basket, but... It's cute and it's definitely the vibe for his nursery when we come to do his nursery but this basket here just has all of his blankets in or majority of his blankets that aren't being used this one is personalized with grayling on love it it's so cute and then just have more of his kind of soft blankets that a lot of the time i use for his little milestone photo shoots if you've seen on instagram go ahead and give that a follow in here we have his little like what to describe it as like his first box like all of his firsts his first boarding pass i've got in there i've got a pregnancy test a positive pregnancy test in there i have his little wristband that he had on in hospital everything like that goes in there and this one will just be like a, an overflow of that i think at the moment there's some suit bags you know like the suit bags that you put suits in <laughs> but for little baby suits. So I've got a couple of those just in case he goes to a wedding or something like that. He's got somewhere to hang his suits up in. So that's in there for now, but it will be like an overflow of this box here when the time comes. In these two boxes here, we have his socks. So the socks on top are his 
current socks, the socks that fit him, and then the socks underneath are more six to 12 months. So I've kind of separated them like that for easy access. And then we just have a little pair of sunglasses. I bought these for his holidays. They were only 50 pence from Primark. I couldn't believe it. And yeah, I, I don't think he actually wore them on holiday. He has worn them before, but I wasn't going to pressure him to wear them <laughs> because he was obviously in a different environment. He was quite hot. I didn't want to make them too uncomfortable. But yeah, they're cute and they just sit there. On the next shelf, we have more of these green storage boxes. Again, from B&M, coming packs of two. This top one here has his vests in, but the long sleeve vest. So he doesn't often wear long sleeve vest in comparison to his short sleeve vest. That's why they're in the cupboard rather than in the baskets under the crib. So I do keep all of them up here. They are in age sized, so his like nine to 12 months, six to nine months are all at the bottom and his current ones are on the top for easy access. Under that, we have this white company box. I was given this by my work colleagues when I was just about to go on maternity. Um, it was just before I went on maternity and thankfully it was just before my maternity because maternity wasn't due to start for another 10 days after that. But uh, it came with a beautiful soft hooded towel it was a blue hooded towel with little ears gorgeous you get plenty of use out of that now i just keep a different bits which i'm probably going to put into the nursery but i'm not certain about them yet so they're kind of sitting in this box until i've made a decision whether they will go into the nursery or not but that's just to make sure that i don't lose them <laughs> over on this side we have his hats so these hats here are his like thin hats that you can just wear for a little bit of warmth and under that he has his seasonal hat so you've seen this hat before he wore that for his little pumpkin photo shoot thing that we did and he's got his little bucket hat that he went on holiday with i just kind of put the seasonal ones underneath because he probably gets more use out of the regular hats and over here we've got a couple of boxes so at the back i could probably do with a bigger box but i'm not too bothered about it all of these back here are his swimming trunks and swimming costumes. Anything swimming related are at the back. And then the one in front are his little mitts and gloves. So he doesn't really wear mitts so much anymore. You'll probably get more use out of actual gloves now that we're coming into winter. So I need to purchase some gloves, but that's where all of his mitts and gloves are at the moment anyway. Underneath that, we have two pairs of Converse. We have like the high top. Uh, chuck ones and we've got the regular uh, white plimsoll converse which I cannot wait for him to wear they're both the same size I think he'll be about 12 to 18 months before he'll fit those shoes but they're so cute I've had to put the light on again because it is quite dark but I thought I'd just show you oh my god they're so cute aren't they I absolutely love these Oh my god, I cannot wait for him to wear them. They're so cute. <laughs> On the final shelf, we have more of those containers. In this one, we have his trousers, which don't have any matching tops. Otherwise, they would be hanging up with the rest of the two pieces. <laughs> but instead, they're just in this little box down here. They are sitting on top of his pyjamas so these pyjamas I think are six to nine months so he won't fit in them just yet but they're cute the Marvel theme again we love Marvel I was having this um like panic recently that by the time Graylin gets to you know enjoying Marvel stage his Marvel is going to be different to our Marvel like we are all about the Avengers but when he comes to like Marvel if he does like Marvel it's going to be like I mean the next phase is the Eternals isn't it so is that his phase or is it going to be a different phase after that in which case it's not going to be any of the classic Avengers which I'm quite upset about but who knows he might like the Avengers <laughs> one day we will push that on him <laughs> we won't push anything on him if he wants to do whatever he wants to do he will do that but we like Marvel and we will encourage him to like Marvel Avengers with us <laughs> Next to them, we have all of his bibs. So he's got loads of bibs. I need to go through these and get rid of a few. We have lots of the soft cotton ones, which really didn't work for us because Grillin has bad reflux. They just 
oh they got sopping wet so we've opted for a lot of the like waterproof ones these ones here are from asda these were from asda years and years and years and years and years ago i got these as a hand-me-down from a friend but these ones are quite new and they're cute i love them and they work so much better for Graylin's reflux because it does spit up quite a lot it has improved but he's still doing it so yeah we need to go through that particular one and get rid of all the cotton ones and just save the waterproof bibs these sit on top of the t-shirts so these are all the t-shirts that don't have any matching bottoms just like the bottoms here if they were matching they would be hung up at the top of the cupboard but they're not so they just sit in this box set an age order so you know like for eight, six months on top six to nine months below that kind of thing as are the trousers but they're sat in a box underneath the bibs because i reach for the bibs daily whereas these i don't really reach for these daily i tend to just go for the two pieces if i'm quite honest but they do sit there if i do need to put a t-shirt on them you know just like a random t-shirt i will pop one of these ones on so they sit underneath the bibs and just to this side, these are just a few more swimming bits, which I couldn't obviously fit into the box at the back. This here is his thermal swimsuit. It's probably too small from now because that was an order three months. So I will have to get rid of that or I'll keep it, but he can't wear it anymore. And this is just a swimming changing mat. It's got a non-slip on the bottom and I just keep them at the side there because I don't really have anywhere else for them to go. You will see some bits at the side here. These are just some extra teddies which i haven't got on display i'll probably put them on display in his nursery when we get there but yeah they're just kind of sitting in there until that happens because i don't particularly want lots of teddies just scattered around the master bedroom as i explained at the beginning of the video i want the master bedroom to be like our relaxing space but you can't really relax when you've got teddies scattered around <laughs> so for anyone interested the shelving unit is from ikea it was 17 pounds it was an absolute bargain and so easy to put together and yeah i'm actually really chuffed with how well this area turned out bear in mind i had nothing to really work with it was a tiny cupboard space i found some shelving that fit nicely for such an affordable price i found a tension rod which you know does the job and yeah, all the storage boxes work well, so I'm really, really pleased with how well I've organised this and put it together. Obviously, it's not Instagram worthy, which, you know, we all have to have an Instagram worthy account, don't we? But um, yeah, it's functional and I love it. I'm really pleased with it. Before I head on to the next bit, these hangers, I've got two different sets of hangers. These ones here were from TK Mac. I think there was about 25 in a pack or 24 in a pack and then these ones are a little bit smaller probably more suited for newborn and not a three month clothing but these were from Amazon if I can find the link I will put them because I actually prefer the smaller ones to the bigger ones as you can see they're quite tight in here it doesn't affect closing the door but I just prefer the smaller ones anyway and they're cute <laughs> so from the cupboard we have a little bit of a display here now I really wanted to do some kind of display on this wall just to make it feel a bit more like Graylin's look. This shelf here is just a shallow shelf. It's from b and I tend to get a lot of stuff from b and I quite enjoy their aesthetic and products. It's actually the same one as the shelving above our bed. It's just shorter, obviously. On top of the shelf, we have this macrame moon. Like I said, I'm not buzzing about the star and moon theme, but I absolutely love this. It's macrame. It was from B&M as well. And yeah, I just absolutely think it's cute. It's kind of the theme I want to go with in Graylin's nursery, kind of like macrame woven neutral kind of theme. So yeah, that's why I picked that one up. They have a rainbow you'll have seen the rainbow it's kind of like a pink muted rainbow absolutely beautiful but i wasn't too sure if i wanted it for Grayland's room so i didn't pick it up i know in a lot of other b ms as well they had a little lion macrame woven kind of hanging thing but they didn't have it in my local b &M, which i'm absolutely gutted about because that would have looked perfect in his nursery when we come to do it out so i've just ended up with the moon but i can't complain because it's absolutely beautiful it's so cute and next to it is a little photo frame it's a welcome to the world you are so loved photo frame it actually had a little hanging elephant on it but 
somehow the elephant went lost in transit which i'm absolutely gutted about but never to mind it's still cute and we have one of my favorite pictures of Graylin whilst he was doing time inside <laughs> this was at 30 weeks i think 30 weeks in one day and it's just my absolute favorite scan photo of him so i thought i will put that in there whilst i'm waiting for like actual Greenland pictures to get developed. Underneath, hanging on the edge of the shelving, I just have some cloven pieces just to add a little bit of dimension to this area. This lip here, which I was able to hang some clothes off it. I love that aesthetic. I think it looks really cute. And I opted for these three bits of clothing. This is six to nine month old, so we won't be wearing that just yet, but I absolutely love it. The colours are gorgeous. I think it was from m &S. It was a gift from my mum and dad. This one is a zero to three month, but it still fits him. It looks gorgeous. But this one is a three to six month romper, and I just thought it looked cute together, so I'll put them together. And then this one was from Georgia Asda again. This one is a not to three month as well, but obviously that looks far bigger than a note of three month it does fit them as a three to six month so yeah i just opted for these ones because i thought they looked rather nice together and kind of completed that little area on the wall so down from this area on the wall we have this trolley which is where i keep a lot of graylin's everyday pieces that we use this trolley was from Amazon. Obviously, it's very similar to the IKEA trolley. If I can find the link, I will, of course, link it. I'm sure it was about £35 for this trolley. I'm sure the IKEA one is about £40. It just worked better for us getting it on Amazon because we could get it the next day. Whereas IKEA, I don't even think deliver to my area. So, yeah, that's why I went for this one. And it was a little bit cheaper. You're going to get a right mix of lighting in this video. I'm really sorry. It's just that time of day, you know, with the clock's going back, it really messes with the opportunity to film. So, yeah, you will see a bit of light change in this video. But anyway, the first shelf of this little trolley is dedicated to his feeding. So his bottles, his formula, We've got some dummies in there as well. The formula we use is the Mamiya First Infant Milk Formula. This is the, we'll say the dupe of the Optimal Formula, but of course this one is from Aldi. We love it, we always use it, and it's so affordable compared to the other formulas on the market. Bottle-wise, we have stayed true to the Philips Advent bottles. This is the nine ounce bottle. The ones before that were the three ounce bottle. And yeah, we've never had any problems with them. So we've just continued to use the Philip Advent ones. He doesn't take any more than eight ounces per feed. So nine ounces was as big of a bottle that we needed for our situation. I have a glass here on top of this unit as well, just to fill up the Tommy Tippy prep machine. And then we have some dummies. So these dummies here are the Tommy Tippy dummies. He doesn't particularly like these ones, I think because of the shape of the like the teeth whereas these ones here sorry that one needs a bit of a wash but the bibs ones he absolutely loves the shape of the teeth so he chooses those ones over the tommy tippy ones nothing you can really do about that he just loves the bib ones also on top i have this chopping board <laughs> it's actually a chopping board from a bread bin which we have downstairs but it fits so well on top of this unit and I really wanted a little area to be able to prep his bottles rather than trying to find some space on my nightstand, which obviously there's very little space to utilise. So I thought about using this chopping board and it works well for us. It's absolutely fantastic to give us the space to prep the bottles. Also underneath the chopping board, careful, careful. I have some bits which I don't particularly want on show, so just things like Dettol wipes. We have some Milton sterilising wipes for his dummies, and I also have his medication which he takes for his reflux. It's the Lozec Mups. It's the Moprazole. It's his gastro-resistant tablet, and he takes that every morning. So I just keep it in this trolley so it's close by, and I don't need to head downstairs for it. Heading down to the next shelf of the trolley, we have his changing pieces. So we have all of his nappies. 
Grillin is currently floating between size 2 and size 3, which we have at the back there. The size 2s that we're currently using are the Loopy Loo ones from Lidl. And the size 3 that we're currently using as well are the Mamiya nappies from Aldi. So he's kind of floating between the two of them. I want to get rid of as many of these as possible. So he does still fit them. There's just a higher chance that he might have a little bit of an accident in them. The thing I like about these ones compared to the Mamiya ones is that they've got that yellow strip which turns blue if they've had a, a wet nappy. Whereas I can't seem to find anywhere on these ones to suggest that they've had a wet nappy. So that's the only thing I don't particularly like about the Mamiya ones. But they are great as a nappy for such an affordable price. This is the changing bath that we use. So this came with the Scottish Government baby box. That was a video that I really wanted to do, but Grayland arrived earlier, so we couldn't get that video done in time. But yeah, it's the changing mat. It's just a fabric one. And we use that because we don't have any facilities in the bedroom to change his nappy without the use of a, a travel changing mat. So this works really well. I love the color of it. This mustard color is so nice. And it's kind of the colour that I'll probably take into his nursery when we get that done. We have some Mamiya wipes. I float between the Mamiya and the Loopa Loo wipes. We have his Tommy Tippy Healthcare kit, which we use regularly. We've got some nappy cream from Asda. I've not used that one yet, but I'm just keeping it in there for when the pseudo cream runs out. We've got some, I've got a little my ickle pseudo cream or pseudo cream sorry and then we've got a bigger one up here and we've got some vino moisturizer not that we really use the moisturizer in fact i use it more for myself than i do grayling but it's there just in case so that is his little changing station we did used to have this changing bits and pieces in a little nappy caddy but since we got this it seemed the perfect space for some changing pieces we got rid of the nappy caddy and everything changing wise goes in this one for the bedroom anyway moving down again we have all of his comforters and his books in this little tray at the bottom so we were advised to get numerous amounts of comforters we call them sukis up here but we were told to get loads and loads of sukis because your baby is gonna absolutely love sukis and will not be able to live without them so obviously we've got a lot here but Greenland doesn't actually use them just yet um Obviously, as a newborn heading up to three months, he didn't really do much in terms of picking things up or cuddling things or chewing things. So he didn't really pick up anything like this to cuddle. Hence why I have lots of them just kind of sitting here. He is probably now at the age where he will appreciate playing with this kind of stuff. But I've just got them under here as somewhere to keep them out of the way because they were just put in one of those green boxes from b and and. I'll admit they were just sat on the landing for God knows how long. So this trolley here was the perfect thing to put this in. And it means I've got access to them when the time comes to use them. We also have some books here. These are all of Grayland's books. We need loads more books, but I am working on a collection. So these are the books that I read to him on a night time. Obviously not all in one go, but yeah, we do like to pick one or two books for his bedtime routine. He loves the Tickle book and he actually loves this book book as well. We've got a couple of books in here from the Scottish Government baby box. Yeah, Scottish Government. We also got this book from the Scottish Government baby box. It's a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. You know that song. We absolutely love it. And the pictures are beautiful as well. We love a good illustration. What a wonderful world. Yeah. <laughs> so his books and his comforters go in the bottom one and it just finishes off that trolley very nicely. It's all stuff that we can use and access very, very easily. So moving from the trolley just down beside it is this gorgeous basket from Primark. It was six pound and it completely goes with the aesthetic of the nursery that I have in mind. So I'm so excited to get the nursery done and have all these cute little pieces in. But this basket here just houses all of Grayland's toys that he plays with up here. We tend to do a bit of tummy time upstairs when he wakes up or just before he goes to bed. So I have some toys for him to play with and keep him entertained. Just a bit of light entertainment before he settles down.
And finally, to finish off his little nook, we have this section here of this railing. Like I said, this railing is full of our clothes, but I have sectioned a tiny little space for his sleep sacks. So he has three sleep sacks. They all go in different ages. I think that's three to six months or... No, sorry, that's zero to six months. I think that might be zero to six months, and I'm sure that's six to 12 months. But they're all 2.5 togs and he gets use out of these two definitely. I think this one's a bit too big for him just yet. And then also next to it, we have his little pram suit. This gorgeous little pram suit from Primark. Yeah, I love it. He's worn that quite a few times. He looks so snuggly and I just keep these to one side just to separate them from mine and Darren's clothing. And it kind of fits with his side of the bedroom. So I'll just do one last overview of his little nook. join me because you are pingy are you you're a pingy little boy yeah so that was Graylin's bedside nursery nook tour i hope you enjoyed it i hope it gave you some ideas for some space saving tips in a small space like i said we don't have a nursery just yet so we have had to utilize as much space as possible in that little corner of the master bedroom which i feel like i managed to do quite well in that space so yeah i hope it gave you some ideas on how to really maximize that area with different storage solutions if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will see you in our next video bye Thank you.